The number one thing that separates those e-commerce brands barely doing $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 a month and those e-commerce brands doing $100,000, $500,000, even a million dollars a month is the perfect account structure. Simply put, those brands that are scaling to the next level with Google Ads or just in general are those e-commerce brands that have identified the perfect Google Ads account structure for their e-commerce brand. But this kind of leads us to the question, how do you figure out the perfect Google Ads account structure for your brand so that you can continue to scale profitably? What's going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here, founder of Yoru Marketing, the best Google Ads agency for e-commerce brands. The reason why I'm able to figure out the perfect Google Ads account structure, not only for my own e-commerce brands, but also for my clients' e-commerce brands, is simply because I have just figured out and identified the perfect structures and layouts after spending money, after wasting a lot of money on these things. Now to kind of illustrate this a bit further, I have here open on my screen, one of the biggest e-commerce brands we're currently handling at the moment. I mean, just in four days, it has spent $8,000. And last month, I'm recording this on the 3rd of February, but last month we spent roughly, as you can see, $74,319 in a single month alone for this e-commerce brand. The only reason why we were able to scale to this level is number one, we were maintaining profits Hence why we were able to just push up the budgets without really facing any issues. But number two, we have been able to identify the perfect account structure, the overall campaign layout that just works for this e-commerce brand. And at the moment we have 22 different campaigns running. So in terms of the perfect ad account structure for any e-commerce brand, it really just comes down to how you lay out the campaigns, how much budget you allocate based on each given individual campaign. And the thing with this e-commerce brand is, or matter of fact, for any e-commerce brand we handle, we like to distribute these budgets and lay them out in a certain way based on a certain percentage so that we can achieve this perfect Google Ads account structure. Let's talk a little bit more about the overall distribution and how we structure these accounts. So for example, for the sake of simplicity, let's assume we only have $1,000 to spend within this Google Ads account. The perfect structure based on my experience now achieving over $10 million in revenue in just a single month with Google is based around different campaign types, shopping, search, display, and then discovery, YouTube retargeting, et cetera, et cetera. All those additional campaigns can be grouped inside of one whole collective section. But starting with shopping campaigns, the perfect ad account structure really has shopping at the very top of the spectrum. And in reality, shopping should be driving a lot of your revenue. If it's not, you're probably doing something wrong in terms of the strategy. But in general, we spend about 70% of our budget toward shopping ads. So the first part of the perfect Google ads account structure starts off with shopping and that gets about 70% of the entire budget. This brings us to the second most biggest part of the perfect Google Ads account structure, which is search ads. In most cases, and as well with this ad account, as you can see, we have a lot of search campaigns going, but in reality, we're only allocating about 25% of the entire budget just for search ads. Now this brings us to the third kind of campaign type, which is the display campaigns. For them, we're distributing only about 3% of the entire budget, not really going too crazy in terms of the display campaign, simply because those are better off for retargeting, remarketing purposes, so on and so forth. We'll cover that very shortly. The fourth and final kind of overall section is discovery, YouTube retargeting, etc., etc. All of those again, can be grouped inside of one section. That's about 2% of the entire budget. So to kind of recap, shopping 70% of the budget, search 25%, display 3%, and then discovery and everything else around 2%. This kind of leads us to 100% of that $1,000 getting spent proportionately. And this kind of gets us started off on the perfect account structure because the reality is the account structure is made up of campaigns and the perfect account structure is just basically you doing a great job of distributing this budget across multiple different campaign types. But we're not done yet because now this brings us to the second part, which is how do you distribute those individual percentages 
within the total. So let's start off with shopping. As I mentioned, with shopping, we're distributing 70% of our entire budget from the $1,000. So in this case, that'd be about $700. That $700, we wanna further distribute within shopping. So out of $700 as a whole, 80% should be going towards cold traffic. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the calculator to help me just a little bit because this is a little bit of extra math. So. $700, we're gonna put 80% of that just towards cold traffic alone. That's $560 going towards cold traffic. So the rest, which means that's about $140, should be going towards warm or hot traffic. That 140 represents about 20% of the entire budget. So that's kind of taking the perfect account structure level up a notch, which is we're distributing now that 70% budget and the total number into 80% cold, 20% warm and hot. This leaves up just the right amount of room for you to expand your audience, get more sales for cold traffic. But in addition, go into the warm and hot sectors, make sure you're showing your ads to the people that are more likely to purchase. So your ROAS really maintains itself and you're able to scale to these kinds of levels where you're spending 70,000 and above per month in any given month. But this brings us to the search campaigns. As I mentioned, 25% of that thousand dollars should be going towards search. So in this case, that's $250. And in this case, what we wanna do is we wanna put only 75% of this entire budget towards cold traffic. So if we do 75% of $250, that's about $187.50. Now, of course, it can be a little bit up or down. You don't need to kind of go into the cents and make it very, very narrowed. You can be $188 or $190. It's okay to be a bit up or a bit down. But in essence, you do wanna be following the percentages. 75% for cold with search, 20% with branded search campaign. So again, this is more for the hot and warm traffic. That's why we wanna put 20% of that entire $250. So in this case, 20% of that would essentially come to around $50. So only $50 should go for branded search campaigns. That's your hot and warm retargeting. And then 5% of that $250 should go towards competitor-based search campaign. So 250 times 0 0.05, which is 5%, that's about $12. You can again put it at $10, $15. It's up to you really how you wanna expand this, but you do wanna leave this much amount of room for those competitor search campaigns. Now, if you're not sure what I'm even talking about, watch some of my recent videos referring to as these competitor search campaigns. Work on getting impression share from your competitors. That's very useful, very effective. I really do recommend you look into that. But that kind of gives us a very good approach towards search campaigns. We now have shopping covered. We now have search covered. This is, by the way, what 90% of those brands doing 100,000 per month and above are doing. They're basing their account structure on the, these kinds of percentages. They're making sure that whatever campaigns they have running, it's based off of a search and giving criteria of the percentage. You don't just wanna have 100% shopping, nor do you just wanna have like 100% search. It should always be kind of spread out evenly amongst these different campaign types. And it doesn't really have to even be even to begin with. It can be a little bit skewed based on where you're getting the best results. But this brings us to display. We had mentioned 3% of that $1,000 should be going just towards those display campaigns. That's about $30. In this case, you don't wanna kind of go too segregated with display because you're already working with a very small budget to begin with. So in this case, I like to do 80% of this $30 or whatever the number is for you into retargeting. So $24 out of that 30 should be for retargeting display campaigns and the rest, so in this case, about $6, or that would be about 20% of should be towards just cold traffic only. Very simple, very straightforward. That's also what we're doing here. And as you can see, we're able to maintain the ROAS very beautifully. Uh, the ROAS that we want to be aiming at is around a 2.5X and above, but there are some days where we're going well into the 3X range. And as you can see, we're doing this at a scale. So which, by the way, it becomes very difficult as you scale to these levels, like it's spending $1,300 a day. And in the recent time period, it's spending $3,000 a day. So maintaining profitability during this level of scale is difficult, but not unless you structure your account in this manner. This brings us now to kind of the final section, which we were talking about earlier, which is discovery, YouTube retargeting, so on and so forth. 
we're only leaving about 2% of the entire budget here for discovery, YouTube remarketing, etc., etc. So out of $1,000, that's going to equal to about $20. So in this case, we don't really want to segregate it too significantly. Again, you can leave it 90% retargeting, 10% brand awareness. I like to kind of focus more on just retargeting for discovery and YouTube retargeting because again, that's the main function of these kinds of ads. There's really no other function for these ads to begin with. So discovery and everything else only about two percent that kind of depletes our entire budget for this ad account but after we have depleted that entire budget you will find out that you have given your ad account and your e-commerce brand the perfect holistic approach you need towards getting the best possible results and towards scaling via the best possible way because again the best google ads account structure really can only be derived if you are distributing your budget properly if you have the right types of campaigns running at any given time but I want you to go ahead and watch this video to the left of my face right here, which goes over seven different new Google ad strategies I will be implementing for all of these e-commerce brands in 2023 and onwards. But if you're currently doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your e-commerce brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen.